How's it going guys? Today I'm here doing a gear review on the Osprey Kestrel 48. 48 liter pack. I love this thing. I've had this maybe three, four years. No, more than that. Four or five at least. And I've put this thing through the most rigorous <laughs> testing you can believe. Um, not even the test, just to use, man. I absolutely love it. The thing's fantastic. Um, I've taken it climbing with me all over the country. It's held up great, other than a couple minor things that I'll show you, but I mean, that's to be expected. And um, the fact that Osprey has a lifetime warranty on their packs is awesome. So, anything you do have that rips or tears or shreds, you know, I got a couple holes poking out. You can call them, go online, write up an RMA. You send it back, they'll fix it, send it back to you. If they can't fix it, they will send you a new pack. It's fantastic. So let's get into it. Okay, so focusing on the back side of the pack first. You've got gear loops galore on this thing. You got chest straps, you got waist straps, um, pockets on the waist belts, which are awesome. You have, uh, I think for your trekking poles, it sticks through. And goes through here. You've got water bottle pouches on each side, which extend enough to fit a Nalgene heavy duty handle right here. You got a spot in between. Unclip my helmet because my helmet's getting in the way. got space in between the back brace which is fantastic by the way space that goes back here for a uh, camel back or some kind of water pouch if you want it highly suggest putting that in before you load your pack the straps go right through here for your your hose will hold it in place you got two pockets that are massive right on the brain one thing I don't like about this is the brain doesn't detach, it doesn't move up and down. So if you pack your pack full, the thing starts tilting towards you. It kind of messes with the back of your head. I've only had that happen once or twice in the span of four or five years, so it's really not bad. Uh, flipping the pack around, uh, you've got gear loops aplenty to hook anything and everything to. Get a carabiner back here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, I mean, you can hang things here, here. You've got straps in the back. I mean, these personally, I think, for ice axes, you can use a walking stick. Um, you've got gear loops here. Put these through, cinch it down. That's just what I have my helmet attached to. You can attach a bandana, a scarf, you name it. You can put it on there. You got this giant mesh pocket, which I didn't use too much when I first got this because I was kind of afraid of stretching it out or poking holes in it. But after half a decade of use, I mean, the thing's only got minor tears. It's still holding up great. Um, <coughs> you've got straps on the side to really cinch everything down, one on the top and one on the bottom on each side. You have a zipper here which holds a rain fly, which it comes with, that covers the whole pack. You've got clips at the top, which open the brain. And you actually have another zipper section here, which is nice to have mesh that you can really see through. So when you're looking, you don't have to figure what the hell is in there. You know exactly what's in here. Um, and then you also have bottom loading. And it does have a separating compartment if you want to. So if you were to use this for backpacking, which you you can, I have, um, but you definitely got to be willing to go light depending on how much stuff you want to take. You know, smaller sleeping bags definitely key on that. And then um, you've got straps here at the bottom, so you can slap strap a sleeping bag, a bed roll, bed roll, bed roll. Um, another thing I've used this for is breaking down the tent and everything when it's wet, you roll it up, you strap it to the outside of your pack so you don't get everything inside soaked, man. Um, this thing is awesome. Let me show you what I have inside so you can get an idea of how much stuff you can fit in here.
Okay, so <clears throat> getting into this pack. Firstly, I forgot to mention there are two more zipper sections here and here along the sides. These things are huge. Um, first, and then I love the fact that all the zippers have these giant finger nubs. But you see how big these are. I mean, they're huge pockets. You can fit from my fingertips down to my elbow in this thing. And when your pack's not full, I mean, you can fit a bunch of stuff in here. And let me show you how full this thing really is. Unclipping the top. Full strand, so it is a bucket style pack, um, meaning it's one opening at the top, goes all the way down, doesn't zip up from the side. I got a chalk bag, which you're obviously going to need if you're climbing, and I do use this mainly for climbing. Um, it's definitely geared towards the climbing pack. We've got harnesses, we've got one pair of shoes. Got two pairs of shoes. I have a sling with more quick draws than you're gonna need. I've got a trad rack in here with cams. Doubles up to three, a couple hexes, a set of nuts, a ton of extra slings. Um, towards the bottom, rope bag with 70 meter rope. I even got a rain jacket in here. I mean, you can fit everything you need for a day of climbing. I cannot recommend this pack enough. 48 liters, there's plenty of room for anything you're gonna need for a day trip. I mean, if you're doing alpine stuff or you're packing a couple days in before you climb, yeah, maybe you're gonna need something a little bit more for camping gear and whatnot. But for a day's worth of climbing gear, food and water, you've got everything you're gonna need. This pack is insanely comfortable. I cannot recommend it enough. It's held up for longer than I ever thought it was gonna and it's still going strong. Um, Osprey packs are fantastic. So that's my review on this bag. I got a couple other reviews I want to do. One on the Atmos 65. I've got a Marmot. I think it's Marmot. Or no, Mammut? Marmot. Marmot day pack that I'm going to talk about. Um, you know, a couple other things. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this pack price, you know, etc. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I can find out. Please comment. Let me know. Like, subscribe if you like the video. And uh, hopefully there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.